Now then, how are we doing? Uh, we've all got it, haven't we? Filler, putty, whether it's perfect plastic putty, the green stuff, Mr. White from Mr. Hobby, and literally hundreds more. Uh, and we use that bad boy to fill in our gaps. However, Dave Jackson uh, has introduced me to this black liquid putty through Shara. Uh, I'm checking because I'm holding my phone. So, come on, Mark, zoom in. Uh, so, BP01, and what you get is you get a bottle of this black liquid putty, right, with a couple of nozzles that you can see. One's looking a little bit scorched on end because I've just tried to burn it out with a lighter. Uh, but that hasn't worked. But no fear, I can take the lid off. Uh, and actually the nozzle itself, it's not too bad, it's not too big a hole. Uh, come on, focus. Thank you. Uh, so you can get quite a nice little bead on that now. In the pack, which is there on its side. I will turn it upside down for you as soon as I put this rule one lid on. Uh, you do get... Uh, shelf life six month uh, suitable age 14 plus uh, and some instructions on the side uh, and uh, a little bit more there uh, made in china da -de da okay uh, but you can see there suitable for filling cementing repairing small gaps uh, and cavities on plastic abs so basically it's a filler and a putty but it's also like a super glue as well and you can see that i've popped a bit down this seam now i could have gone for my original sort of mr white and shook that in uh, but i thought i'd just show you this because even though it's been around for years uh it's first time that i've really used it i can't use that cocktail stick because it's full of putty and i do want uh, i do want a clean one so i'm going to try and do this because i'm looking come on zoom in I am looking through my phone as I'm sort of like, what I'm doing is I'm flattening it off uh, because there is, a, there is a gap there, quite obviously. Okay, now the problem that you do get with this particular product is that, because that is the uh, accelerator. And you can see mine's empty. I haven't had a spill, okay. But what I will say is, is that once you've got that on there, as soon as you touch that onto that black putty, that is what happens to that brush. Okay, and we've all done it, or is it just me? We've we've glued some up with super glue, and then you've thought, chuffing hell, it won't take. I'll run some extra thin through it. Uh, and then that's exactly what happens to your extra thin nozzle, uh, to your extra thin, uh, extra thin brush, sh should I say. Uh, it's probably on me that's done it, but you can let me know if you have. So, seeing that there's a bit of a problem there, what I've gone for is that. Okay, uh, that's actually that product. So I've put it from there into there, and all I've done is I've ordered a spray bottle off eBay for two quid. Uh, I've put uh, some hot water in a cup. I've sat that in it up to there literally for about 10 seconds and then with the back of my blade I've peeled it off uh, and because uh, the uh, the glue has sort of reapplied itself look it's not lifting okay uh, and I've stuck it onto my spray bottle so <coughs> excuse me so what I'm hoping now I'm glad I'm not doing it live uh, what I'm hoping for now is if I spray this Right, then it should do what it's supposed to do. Uh, I'm just like that. Okay. So you've just seen me spray that on. Jesus Christ, it stinks. Uh, I've just sprayed it on. Now, uh, what, what's happened to that then, Mark? All right, let's just have a look. So it's absolutely rock solid. It's worked. It's, it's absolutely rock solid. And that, even though it looks like it's a chuffing mountain... It sands off so beautiful. Uh, it really, really does come off uh, very, very quickly. Now I've got, I've got these three that I got off uh, an old acquaintance of mine: a rough, a medium, and a smooth. Uh, so obviously I've started with that, moved on to that, and then I've gone on to that. Uh, 
couple of blocks and uh, and there you go so you can see come on focus so you can see that that's worked uh, I think on back of this video five minutes long what I would say is when you come to spray that accelerator lid on when you come to spray that accelerator because I know there's a couple of lads down at the club that have said oh I'll have a bit of that wear a mask let's pause it there uh, and I'll get some sanding sanding done and I'll come back to you Shares and he's back in the room. Okay, so uh, there you go. And see, and that is black liquid putty. Now, all right, okay, so it took me about two minutes to do that, and you're gonna say, hang on a minute here, mate. I can still say, I can still say a black line. I can still say da da da. However, I'll tell you what, right? Whether you can see a black line or not, there is nothing there, right? There is nothing, I'm not going to rub my nail on it, but there is nothing there. That is, and even there, where's my cocktail stick? Even there, that's showing, ah, but I can still see it. Actually, once there's paint on that, there's nothing there. Okay, there's a tiny little divot there. I'll live with that. Okay, it's a World War II Lancaster. All right, so I hope there's certain things that I'm actually quite all right where you can see that one and you can probably see a few down here. That wants to rescribe that line, but that's no drama, I can see to that. What I'm talking about is... I'm talking about seam line, which, if you watch my shit, you know I absolutely hate so that's it boys and girls that's your black liquid putty with your bottle of accelerator uh, that i've transferred from there into there poured it in come on uh and uh and, and bought a spray bottle uh, that's got the little pipe in the bottom because it's a lot better than that all right thanks to dave jackson uh, and shara for introducing that product to me uh, really love it guys and uh, see you at club next time. Thanks for watching as usual. Catch you later. Cheers